Hello YouTube, 87 Ricer here. So, this is my new, like brand spanking new, 2023 Ice Bear Aldo Ice Bear. Um, just picked it up yesterday. I rode it all the way from St. Charles, Missouri, down near Fast Lane Classic Cars. Wrote it took all the side roads that lead back to uh, Herman, and so I never even had to get it on the interstate, strictly side roads. And uh, for all of you who don't know, 50 cc's you can ride them on the roads, um, preferably not the interstates. Now I'm talking like Interstate 40, uh, 4, 55. Um, interstate 70 all the major interstates and even the really traveled highways like highway 19 highway um, 5 going out past Lake Ozarks stuff that there's a lot of heavy traffic on those are the ones that they recommend not driving on however you can take side roads like highway H and highway Z and Highway F and Highway W on your back roads in the country, on the countryside. You can take a lot of those side back roads that only get maybe a car or two the entire time that you're riding. You can riding, you can ride these on city streets, um, but like I said, if the if the if the road is heavily traveled by a lot of cars and vehicles that are doing 55 plus then don't risk getting run over stay on the side roads on the back traveled roads the less pot the less traveled roads stay off the main heavy roads that way you don't get in trouble this has got a little bit more pep in its step but it's 49 cc and this is where i got it from That's where I got it from. So, um, like I said, this bike, you know, you can ride them on the roads. Just use your head when you're riding. If you're not comfortable riding without a helmet, get yourself a little helmet, put that thing on, and ride it, you know, ride. Um, I mean, after all, Dumb and Dumber did it. Harry and Lloyd, they both wore helmets when they were traveling from Iowa or from Nebraska to uh, Aspen, they both had helmets, and they were on a little dinky thing, but it got good gas mileage, and they were able to go from Nebraska to Aspen on a, well, in that pic, in that movie, they got there pretty decent. <laughs> so, I mean, like I said, use your head, ride safely, hit the back roads if you have these. If you do decide to jump on, like, major traveled highways, and you're on a slow bike chances are you're pro you could get pulled over but you are faster than a bicyclist bicyclists are required to have um they're required to have flashing lights for at night and headlights so you can see them in the dark these bikes have everything that you need to ride in the dark and they are faster than bicyclists so i would say personally you can ride these on the highway but if there is a sign, like when you're entering high, like when you're entering on to the interstate, there are signs that say uh, vehicles only no, uh, no, um, no bicycles, nothing like that. And so, like I said, you can technically ride these on just about any road, but you need to use your head. Don't ever jump on the, onto the interstate. If you're gonna take the highway, ride the white line that hugs the shoulder of the road. And use, and I mean ride it. I mean stay right next to the white lines while you're riding. That's all I can, that's all the advice I can give you. Um, I mean, the last bike that I had, it was a 150cc. And it was blue and silver. And 
I called that one putt putt and uh, that was because I, I bought it I sold it to uh, Tetanus Auto then he sold it back to me and uh, and then I rode that bike the, until until it absolutely quit on me but this is the same style as putt putt was it has the same side these vents actually do work you can actually there's actually air that gets in there so you can like you can see it through it so air does get back there while you're riding it is a good bike like i said i rode it all the way from st charles missouri all the way back to herman it was let's just say that when i left fast lane classic cars from brad's i was at a full tank of fuel i chose to fill up as soon as we got to wentzville and it was just starting to go past half a tank when i when i filled it up in wentzville missouri and then from wentzville missouri it got me all the way back to herman so i definitely put a little over 100 miles on the speedometer on the tack yesterday just riding it so it was a good long ride but it was like i said it was uh, it was a ride it's two wheels i was my knees were in the breeze literally and uh yeah it was just a fun ride so um i decided to name it olaf because here lately my girls have named my bikes really easy really easy stuff to remember I am going to peel, I'm going to peel this decal off. It's not going to be, it's not going to say Aldo on it. It's not going to have the red and black. I'm going to peel the ice bear off. I already peeled the Aldo decal on that was, that was here. You can kind of see the lines of the Aldo. And I slap Bomber Auto on it. So I'm going to peel those off. I'm going to make it a plain Jane white. And I'm just going to call it Olaf. I'm actually going to keep the trunk on this bike. Um, on my wife's ice bear, I removed the trunk. And I put one of those uh, American flags on the back. And kept it on there for a while. And after I rode with this on there, after I rode with this on it, I was like, you know what? I don't know how to put that trunk back on my wife's ice bear rocket. So I actually reinstalled her bike. Um, I actually reinstalled hers today. That's how you keep these on. You got these pieces here, keeping it on. But yeah, everything works as it should. I'm just ripping around Herman. This is my new Herman play toy. I still have my uh, Honda Rebel until somebody uh, wants to buy it, until somebody buys it from me. I got it listed at 2500 and uh, I also listed my 87 Harley Davidson uh, for four grand. Um, the reason why I'm gonna sell my 87 soft tail is because uh, I got the 87 Camaro and uh, back before I got my 87 Camaro, I've always wanted an 87 vehicle and uh, having an 87 Harley motorcycle and turning it into a chopper just seemed like a cool idea before I came across and I bought Bumblebee my my beater my beater bee I came across a chance to buy that car and so I did and uh, I've got less money invested in that car than I do the entire bike for the 87 I've got a uh, I've got I'm invested into that 87 five grand deep and I'm not even riding it it's just sitting in my shed um, I've lost interest of turning it into a uh, chopper like I was going to I'd rather just sell it and buy a bike a larger bike that I can ride and enjoy and let somebody else have fun with that 87 soft tail if they got the time and the willingness to work on it but me right now i got the 87 camaro beater b and that's what i call my car i call it beater b my daughters of course they call them bumblebee it's whatever you guys want to call them the point was i was going with the yellow and black bumblebee theme 
because I like Bumblebee. I'm a huge Transformers fan. In fact, I don't think I've ever showed y'all. Yeah, that's my tattoo. Half, half of it is Autobot, half of it is Decepticon. That's what I got. I got the tattoo. So I'm gonna gonna let you guys go. Uh, post this. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified about every crazy ass video that I come up with. Um, I'll be doing more riding videos on this bike to come. But for right now, I'm still breaking the motor in, riding it, and uh, just cruising around Herman. Same thing I've always done, except for now I won't have to constantly shift gears when I'm following behind my wife on her high spare. Now I can just gas and go <laughs> keep up with her because there's times where she'll take off like a rocket and I'm by the time I get to third gear on that Honda Rebel I'm already passing her up and it's like uh I just need a smaller bike uh oh I hear a train coming I tell you what don't don't click off now there's a train coming
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know some, a topic that I didn't really talk about a while back. So, I love trains. Everybody likes trains. Naturally, we all grow up seeing them. Anyways, so a few months back, I was contacted by UPRPD, and they basically said, Hey, those videos that you got up, take them down. We don't want people doing that. And, uh... So I took them down. Um, if you don't know what UPRPD is, Union Pacific Railroad Police Department. That's who uh, contacted me. And you know what? I'm a small channel. I don't got the kind of money to even pay for a fine like that. But they said if I didn't take them down, then uh, further actions would be taken. And of course, I promptly took them down <laughs> very quick. So <laughs> that's what was up um it was mostly the videos the only videos that they had the problems with was whenever i was on private property being beyond that fence anytime that a train was coming i would listen for it i would wait for it and then when i heard the when i heard the mechanisms getting ready to sound off or while they were sounding off i had an old phone and i would place that old phone onto the tracks just at the lip as it crosses over the concrete and then that phone I would set it to record as I'm setting it down and then immediately or not long after the trains would come around the bluff and I, and it would record the, pho the phone getting run over by the trains and uh, I did edit a few of those and I shortened them up so I think what it was is they thought that I was getting to the tracks just as the trains were coming and uh, it, that wasn't the case a lot of those times I heard the trains coming well in advance I'd set them down and I would edit the part where the phone was just being set down or just before it got set down but that's why I took those down because they said take them down and they said we do these calls all the time so you're not the only one which is cool but at the same time like i said i didn't have i don't got the money to pay for that kind of fine and i wasn't going to find out how much it was going to be but what i do know is i enjoyed making those videos they ended up getting a lot of views <laughs> just just for them to take say take it down and when you have a uh, uprpd get a hold of me then you know then you know that they have their ways of contacting of contacting who they want to get in touch with and he wasn't being a jerk he said i get it we all like doing stuff like that but can't do it we don't want people to copy what you were doing so yeah the videos i took down were the trains running over my phone and getting the underbelly shots that's what I took down. So, anyways, I'm 87 Ricer. Hope you all enjoyed that. Peace. Love y'all. Bye.